welcome viewers if still you're not subscribed to this channel kindly subscribe and also click the bell icon to get technology updates regularly on this JP Infotech channel hi in this video we are going to see about how to download and install Visual Studio 2019 in Windows 10 environment just go to your browser and type Visual Studio can see a link visualstudio.microsoft.com just click it here you can see the options of visual studio visual studio code visual studio for mac so as of now we are going to see about for windows 10 environment so just go into this visual studio right now in the drop down you can see download visual studio community 2019 professional 2019 and enterprise 2019 as of now we are going to see about community 2019 as it is for individual developers academic users and open source and so no need to pay for it just click this community 2019 link here you can see the message of thank you for downloading visual studio and it automatically downloads just i'm clicking save in the desktop you can see once if it is it's completed i'm just double clicking it to install it i'm clicking yes for the visual studio installer <coughs> you can see the window Visual Studio installer asking for continue just click continue now the Visual Studio installer is being downloaded the file size is around 75.3 MB it's being downloaded now and it's being verifying now it is being install now visual studio installer is being open now it here you can see in the workloads is it asks for which of the components you needed for the installation purpose here you can see many options in the web and cloud you can see asp.net python development azure development node.js in desktop and mobile you can see dotnet development desktop with c++ universal windows platform mobile development with dotnet uh, so you can see many kinds of components here so whichever is required we can select so the selected component can be installed and if you also need in the future you can install it that is not a problem so right now for the dotnet development purpose i am selecting asp.net and web development one and for the desktop I'm selecting dotnet desktop development and universal windows platform development so I have selected these three components and you can see and you can see the installation details whenever I am selecting the components the particular component details has been displayed in the right side so and also it shows the total space required okay so here you can see the option install while downloading and there is an option called download all and then install so I'm selecting this so everything is downloaded and then we can install it and I'm clicking now install here you can also see the location where you wanted to download it or if you wanted to change it you can change it so right now I'm keeping as a default and click and selecting this download all and then install and I'm clicking this install option here you can see now the download file size is around 4.62 GB and here you can see start after installation option so as of now I'll pause this video and will come back the when the download has been completely finished 
now you can see the installation is completed now you can see here the welcome message it asks for sign in for microsoft account so let me click not now maybe later you can see here the window asking for start with the familiar environment development setting general let it be general or you wanted javascript visual basic visual c sharp c++ web development so let me select general and whichever the screen you want color themes you wanted you can select it blue or blue extra contrast dark or light so i will select the default first one that is blue and it is also mentioned that you can always change these settings later so i'm clicking the button start visual studio now the window is open visual studio 2019 here you can see open recent as it is the first first time we are using this you can see get started clone a repository open a project solution open local for create new continue without code okay so let me select continue without code now you can see the window for the sir uh, can see the server explorer the toolbox so if you wanted to start a new project just go to file select new and project here i'm going to select uh, right now i will be using uh, c sharp dot net so i'll select this console app dot net core and click next and as for the project name i'll give sample 1 and the location that you wanted if you wanted to change this location you can change here or it should be default you can leave it as is as it is and you can create and select create button now microsoft visual studio is creating the new project now you can see the sample uh, program has been started and here you can see the sample one name here just click to run the project as i'm having uh, antivirus it is being scanned for the exe file now you can see the output hello world here so in this way you can able to download and install microsoft visual studio 2019 in windows 10 and if you want any other videos you can comment us and if you have any queries you can also comment us in the comment box thank you for watching